sauce to snacks, crackers and stuff like that. Guess maybe we'll be buying this some ano. Oh, you have a nasi lemak here. Quite good day in front of you as well. See in Singapore and in Malaysia, so it's not unusual. So the day would take us. Okay. Yes, people, here we are on the go again. Been downstairs. Here, I think this is the what Grand Batam Mall. And, yeah, yeah. Free shuttle. and this is the free shuttle. Hey, it's so clever, really. Yeah. <laughs> I took the shuttle over here. Now we're just gonna hang out here for a while, and then for what we gathered the information from the driver opposite, actually, there is sort of a market. I think, it, I don't know, I think it's a market, Penguin Market or something like that. So maybe we might go to check it out, depends on the rest of the gang. So, let's see what this place has to offer, shall we? Check out this mall. Well, the closest I can see, this is one of the latest mall they actually sort of, sort of like uh, started maybe two years ago. But it's from, from the driver. And, wow, it's still a lot of this kind of Unusual Ubi Oh Let me know what I think I think a comparison uh, Not KSL uh, Maybe more a bit of uh, upper class Like uh, Like the Brown City Eon I won't compare I won't compare to the malls in Singapore uh. I mean uh, I can't find Maybe those housing areas like Tachuka Or those maybe more, more of Those kind of malls Upscale lah. But not Definitely I don't see any branded Things like uh, Maybe like uh, Paragon more Maybe like Orchard no, Another this kind of mall This is slightly different Still uh, it, is, it is a new mall I can see things There's quite a lot of uh, Things going on here Maybe you go check it out See what else we can find but I do see some brands Like Uniqlo And stuff like that So it's Pretty okay Shabu Shabu Japanese. We have a key station. I presume there is an HMN here as well. So, yeah, this is a booming place. Thing in his hand. Hamster? Guinea pig. Guinea pig, ah? Guinea pig. So far, actually, this mall is still quite okay. The Samsung, you got the iPhone, HMN. So, two years old for a mall like that. Yeah. 
I guess pretty up to the mark lah. Easy can spend half a day here. And it's all here as well. <laughs> guys pretty much you see a lot of similar brands you either see in Singapore and in Malaysia so it's not unusual maybe you're gonna head out check out the rest of the area over here but overall this mall it's pretty okay pretty decent good choices of food brands as well you know yeah and uh, as, I, as I mentioned before two years so Consider quite new. Okay. I mean, expected like this area, which is outside the mall. I do notice a lot of the business here, like money changer. And then you have your spa, cafes, and then pretty much I think everywhere. If you go, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're in Malaysia, you're in Thailand. Once there's a major mall, you see outside. Pretty much the services, the strategy is pretty much the same. Money changes, cafes, spas, uh, saloons, uh, those kind of industries. And oh uh, yeah, I think right in front of here is the market. I think the wet market. And this is a food court here. Stumbling in front of food court, which is okay. I see a lot of similar stuff here. Nasi Kuning, you still have your Nasi Udon Pontiana. Okay, some of the names are very similar, some I know. Oh, you have a Nasi Lemak here. And Pak Kute in front of you as well. Kampo, oh. Hokkien Mi, Kwe Tiao. Hey, actually, this is more kind of my joint. Uh. If actually I'm a solo traveler, I will hang out here and check out this place. Okay, now this is the place we just came across. Now sticking to the pavement and it's uh, starting to drizzle. Oh, okay. Mostly all the stuff here are just dry food stuff. And the outer layer, dry food. You see actually some of these businesses have been uh, established for quite, quite a while. Coffee. Yeah, an interesting neighborhood outside as well. Oh, the rain is getting heavier. I think a lot of uh, shops here, food, textile, accessories, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think a lot of family businesses here, uh, from the way I look at it. Oh, pretty obvious. Here's another shop of a uh, dry goods. Actually, we are actually looking for some, some things like the croquettes and all this stuff. We want to maybe give family, friends, some of the local snacks here. Since right now there's a uh, drizzling outside, we decided to stop here as one of these normal stalls. There's a lot of uh, interesting local products here from chili sauce to snacks, crackers and stuff like that. Guess maybe we'll be buying this to bring back home. So how much? One. Oh, okay. Mm. Once you start, you never stop. You have a lot of goodies here. I mean, some of them we don't actually have it over there in Singapore. Maybe. Yeah, some of them I know because I don't even get to. I mean, maybe it is a specialty over here, but not. Like so. 
Actually, we will try to get more, find out more about this. Oh, some of them still. Wow, this is yeah. why I say the copy. Wow, this is very expensive. The beans, the coffee bean that comes on the poop of the <laughs> of the musang, whatever you call it. Uh, another one, coffee luwa. Very expensive, but of course it's very rare. Total. The market. Nice. So after hanging here for a while, now we are going back to the Grand Batam. And it was quite a heavy shower. Anyway, whew. been fun. Taking short of a break, having some coffee here at this place called uh, Coffee Town. Uh, I think similar like Old Town, uh, those kind of uh, coffee shops. Yeah, just having some coffee, and then uh, we're making our next move right now. Face kicks, uh. This is actually sort of an Indonesian stuff which we are intending to get some of these before we go back. Lapisan, which is actually sort of you see all this kind of uh, layer kicks in Indonesia. Yeah, it looks good. Hmm. Okay, so the plan is we are actually here. We are actually making a move to head back first to relax, enjoy what the rest of the hotel amenities have to offer. Then we plan for later tonight. So check you guys later. Okay guys, as it has been a long day, so actually we decided to come out to this place known as uh, the Love Seafood Nagoya, which is somewhere around our hotel. We decided to check out the place, and from what I know, the reviews are pretty good. So, only one way to find out. Wow. Nice. This is nice. A bit like sweet sour, sweet sour sauce like that. Ready? Pink. For the rice, they put in a little. So cute. <laughs> So this is the prawn, right? What is this? Mango prawn. Mango prawn. This is broccoli. Okay. So far, looks, looks okay. Four dishes. Oh, this is the sotong. Sweet. And this is the ah, sweet sour fish. Okay, so sweet sour fish. Sweet. And broccoli is here. Nice. Have over here. Mm, really mango prawn. Yeah. Big crispy. The prawn, I think they, they put the mango juice inside. Mm. Not spicy at all. Very nice. Pink sour. Ah, over there. Broccoli. 
I brought police to the taste of my food. Really like the Chinese food of Thailand. Mm. Mm. So far, the food doesn't disappoint. We should have one more stingray. But that one, later we will try. Last but not least, stingray is here. Ah. Oh, steamy eh? and some chili sauce. Wow. Very spicy eh, the, the sambal, but nice. Mm. No? So, chicken dip. The, the lime even better. So, overall the food is pretty good. Ah. Woo. Everything clean. Woo. So let's see. Let's pay up. So it came to around 478.500 rupiah. You guys go and do the math. Hey, the Bali. So even outside from the main hall, you can still see these kind of small stalls. Okay guys, we are finally back at the uh, harbour here. And we are actually making a way back. For now, I mean, overall, pretty good experience. I'm just, I mean, to be back here since the pandemic. Things might have changed. Things, some things have changed. Some things still remain the same. But then, overall, pretty good experience. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this trip. Remember to share, like, subscribe. If you haven't yet. See you guys in the next vlog. Ciao.